Hello, I'm Dan Lemon, and this is my monologue reel. <laughs> On you noblest of English, whose fathers are fed from fathers warproof, fathers who, like so many Alexanders, have in these parts from morn to evening fought and sheathed their swords through lack of argument. Dishonor not thy mothers, and attest that those whom you call fathers did beget you and be copy now to men of grosser blood. Teach them how to war. Ladies, an announcement. I am up for it. All of the time. That is not a boast nor an opinion. That is a bone-hard medical fact. I put it about, you see. And you will watch me putting it about and you will sigh for it. Don't. It is a good deal of trouble for you and you'd be far better off watching and drawing your conclusions from a distance than if I got my task up your petticoat. You know, I always thought that that thief next to Jesus got off lightly. You know, like, if I was hanging from a cross and some bloke offered me a seat next to his daddy in a place called Paradise. I'd fucking take that any day, wouldn't you? I've stolen myself out of every good job that I've ever had since high school because you, you blew me so full of hot air that I couldn't stand taking orders from anybody. That's whose fault it is. And it's about goddamn time you heard this, Dad. Try getting a reservation at Dorsia now, you fuck! There is no such thing. It is the bloody business which informs thus to mine eyes, and now, oh, ere the one hearth world, nature seems dead. Witchcraft celebrates pale Hecate's offerings and withered murder alarmed by his sentinel, the wolf, who howls his watch. What are you doing with all those toasters? That is the dumbest thing that I have ever seen. If I took this hammer, right, and I bashed in your skull, right, you'd have the same Three dimples on the inside is all Ben here. Hey! Hey! Lay your hands flat on that turtle shell tabletop. If you take your hands off that fucking turtle shell tabletop, Mr. Putch here is going to let off both barrels of his shotgun. I want you to shag with my humuncular image rattling about in your gurnets. Feel how it was for me. Feel how it is for me and ponder. Was that shudder the same shudder he felt? Why am I here in an office making a begging, contemptuous fool of myself when all I want is out there waiting for me? Waiting for the moment that I can say I know who I am. Why can't I say that, Bob? I'm a buck an hour. One dollar an hour. I tried seven states and I couldn't raise it a buck an hour. Do you gather my meaning? Do you hear what I'm saying to you? I just am who I am. Will you take that phony dream and just bury it? Please before something happens.